Welcome to this episode of In Clinic at Hugh Freedy. I'm Kevin Henry. Today, let's talk about your business. Let's talk about how that your dental practice isn't just a practice, but it's actually a small business. It's no different than the florist down the street or the restaurant down the street or even the Starbucks down the street. These are all businesses that have to be run as just that, businesses. In his 13 years as managing editor for Dental Economics Magazine, the one thing that I learned, one of the biggest mistakes that practices often make is not viewing themselves as a small business. I think any time a practice can streamline its effort, it makes an impact on the bottom line. If you think of your dental practice as a small business, that's the key here, is remembering it's a small business. Any business gets better when it learns to work smarter, not harder. In my opinion, this includes the handling and the reprocessing of instruments. Personally, I'm a big fan of using cassettes in the sterilization process. They not only cut down on waste, but they ensure a more streamlined way to clean multiple instruments. Yes, I know it's an upfront investment, but I believe in the end, it's well worth it to the business's bottom line. Let's face it, we all wanna work smarter and not harder, and that includes in your business. Infection control is one of the most important topics that any dental practitioner or dental team member can know about. The subject can never have enough content written about it or produced about it. And Hugh Freedy has taken a leadership role in promoting content and producing content that you will find valuable and can help your business streamline the way that it does things. Make sure that you find more out about that by clicking on the link.